Good morning, internet, and welcome to the start of a new playthrough. Yeah, that background noise is always so loud. So, after a bunch of comments on the previous video, thank you all very much. Uh, we're going to try the Swamp One without water geysers. So, in... I guess full disclosure form, I did just copy and paste these coordinates. I did look at this cluster just to make sure that it was at least possible and stuff was there. The reason I want to go with the small asteroid cluster is you get so many more uh, places to go. On the big... In fact, we can just go back. On the classic style, you don't get nearly as many places. And I kind of like the small asteroids definitely make it more of a challenge. So that is the coordinates. Again, game under development. They just did an update, so even by the time you see this, which might be later today, the coordinates might not work. So just full disclosure, I did look at this and it seems interesting. On the ice planet, we've got the lush core and the radioactive crust. And on the superconductive, we got the frozen core. And actually, we're going to hit this a couple of times. Not a whole lot of these get traits. Like, it's usually just Tundra and Superconductive. Like, there, there's not a whole lot of other traits that pop up. Occasionally, the Marshy Asteroid gets a trait. So, I'm assuming they're going to keep adding more and more to that as they work out the issues with the World Gym. Yeah, let's spawn some dupes and pick a base name. And no, they haven't really sped this part up at all. But so far I haven't had any crashes, but I also haven't played very long on any map. I've mostly just, I've spawned probably 50 or 60 different maps in the last couple of days. So we want a digger, researcher, and I usually go with operator. Decrease science? Eh, no, because that makes them really slow to l learn stuff. Cannot do cooking? Animal has root three. Like, neither one of those is helpful. Decrease construction is a heck no. Increase machinery? Eh. I would love digging building. Digging building is what I always want. Oh, that works. So digging plus construction. They're a little bit slow in the bathroom speed. That's fine. Bottomless stomach is going to be a no. I definitely don't want decreased machinery on my researcher because they need to operate things. Electrical engineering, no. Decreased athletics, no. I mean, I usually want my researcher to do something else when the researching is done. Yeah. And I thought they were going to do more traits. Maybe I'm just not seeing them. I know there's a mod where you can just pick what people get. I haven't tried that one yet. Can I do doctoring? Increase food morale? Sure. Starts with a tier one grilling. No, definitely don't want farting. And I don't want allergic because I definitely want to go berry sludge, which means there's going to be floral scent around. Yeah, that works. Increased strength. Well, it's definitely not going to be paradise. Well, I think Chaotic Committee is actually a pretty good name. I mean, alliteration is always funny, but yeah. Turner, Devin, Ellie, welcome to the Chaotic Committee. 
All right, so let's just pause there. We'll do kind of the basics, which one, turn off the stupid shift alarm. I hate that. And fix the schedules. Now all that stuff you do in the beginning of the game and then you don't think about for much, much later. I think three down time is where we start. One, two, three, four. All right, that all looks good. And priorities. Turner, digging, building, researching, operating. So let's just take a quick look around it to what we see. We have a small amount of fresh water, uh, output teleporter, lots of polluted water and mud. If we go to the star map, we get a hot polluted, oxygen, natural gas, gold, cobalt, and copper, and infectious polluted oxygen. So I thought it'd be fun to try to use the oxygen vents for oxygen since I don't have a source of water. But we're in the beginning game, which means I need water, bathrooms, all that kind of basic stuff. And a whole lot of mud. Yeah, so that's all gonna fall. So let's plan out the digging like that. That's also mud. That's blue and dirt. I do that. That's uh, that's blue and dirt. Blue and dirt shouldn't fall. There's a lot of planning when you're doing with the swamp start. Now all that to fall down into here. Eh, mostly worked. Ah, right, and ooh, oh. Don't get in my water. Don't get in my water. Okay, now we're through that part. Uh, I just want to dump all of this polluted water down just so it's out of my way. And then hopefully I can get a bathroom done fast enough. All right, now that that's done, we can put in the floor. Outhouse just to be safe. Ah, that priority. And there we go. So, most important thing to do right at the beginning is bathrooms, that way they don't make a mess. We don't have a whole lot of water to deal with, but yeah, now that that's done, we can think about what to do next. I think it's gonna be dig that down. Okay, we made it through the first cycle. We got some plug slugs, and so next, uh, once they wake up, we'll work on bedrooms and research. All right, wake up time on cycle two. We're gonna need some floor. 
Now, there's a plug slug that likes to hang out here. We can do that. Get some extra power. Want to leave that space so a plug slug can go there. And... Ah, wrong place. That's all polluted dirt, so that shouldn't fall down. Wise, I do have the research mod turned on, so I am just going to turn on all of the basic research. And just crank it all out while I'm doing other stuff. Keep thinking Ellie's the researcher, but Ellie's not the researcher this time. All right, now I need access to more water. Just want to make sure none of this falls. That's polluted dirt, so I should be able to go like that and get this water over here. But now we got bedrooms, we got a bathroom. I'm going to move my ladder over because I'm dumb and I need doors. bonus going. So far so good. Oh good, there's thimble reed. I didn't even check for that. There's my natural gas geyser. Uh, there's my teleporters. Uh, yeah, oh good. I'm glad there's thimble reed. That way I don't have to ranch Drekos. And we got plug slug giving us power. And if there's one living in here, grab power from him as well. And see, for oxygen, I don't think I have any algae. Nope. Not that I can spell algae, but it does not look like it. Yeah, so we can go with a sublimation station. here just so I get the most out of all of these plug slugs. And I'm probably not going to be hiring very many dupes. Speaking of... Okay, well neither one of those I want anyway. A decorator farmer I definitely don't need. And another researcher I don't need. So, I wasn't bad. Alright, we got that water. There is plenty of polluted water, so I'm not that worried about water. Why are you idle? Okay. Well then let's have you dig that down. And we're now producing polluted oxygen, so I need Oh, wrong. 
Oh, I don't have any metal. I'm like, why can't I do this? Okay, yeah. Yep, swampy start. Being short on metal is a problem. Let's do that. We can grab that cobalt ore. And I do have debug mode enabled, which I always do, which is why I can hit Alt-Z and switch into high speed mode. Which just, you know, makes, especially here in the early game, just makes it go so much faster. How much are they putting out? 300 watts. All right, buddy, need, <laughs> I need the metal. Alright, we can harvest the swamp shard. We can head up and grab that dirt. And we can keep coming down in here into this mud. Oh, and more metal. Yeah, yeah, nobody likes hypothermia. This is where I can count. I'll start working on a mess hall. That's a lot of mud up there. Water. Do I have the supercomputer? Yes. I do like the research queue, just letting them prank through without having to click back and forth all the time is really handy. bonus I can get, I will take at this point in the game. What are you? Fertilizer. Okay, into cycle four. We're doing good on food. We are good on oxygen. I just need a supercomputer to be done, and then we can get the deodorizer. Ooh, there's I'm assuming we found... Yeah, we got two tons of sand. We have skills? Not yet. We got up there. Brine ice. Oh, that's quite cold. We got mushrooms. We got slime. Okay, so we got some good sources of food. We got our first skill point. Devin, researcher, perfect. Got big batteries? Yes, but we don't have any metal. No, come on. stress from the hypothermia, but that should be fine. So far, I think I'm doing all right. battery gets done, then I can switch these over to big batteries, and then my plug slugs will keep everything charged up quite nicely. Thank you. 
Alright, now we have plenty of power storage. We got more tables. Let's look at research. So by changing priority, I can select this and now I can hold shift and tell it what order to do things. Yeah, I'm just going to tell it to come right down top to bottom. I want the deodorizer first and then everything else can just happen. There we go. And you're only priority five, but you have increased operations, so you're going to keep running. Wow. Just all bad. Snoring, bad. Requires light, bad. Mouth breather, bad. So I'm not feeling too bad. Too worried about the fact that I haven't been able to hire a dupe because my options have been awful. All right, you increased operation, you increased digging. Just come up this way. That's a nice source of power and a source of poten potential polluted water. Ooh, that... And is that refinement? Yeah, I don't have it yet, but I've got the rock crusher. I was looking for the sludge press, which I haven't researched yet, but that should be in the queue. We got the rusty oxidizer. I don't think there is any rust on here. I'm just thinking about other ways of doing... Oh, I have algae. Like, there's slime up here, which means I can come up here and get an oxygen... Uh, oxygen diffuser. So that's a good source of clean air. Pretty much every place I can, I'm tossing a jumbo battery just because I want to suck up as much plug slug power in the evening as I can. Oh, that's space. Okay, so that's the top of the base. How cold is it? So the very top is cold, the rest of it's reasonable. I don't think I can dig abyss light yet. Nope. That's fine. There's this granite. I just want to get some of this algae. Yeah, slime I want to leave alone. Guess it doesn't really matter. That means I want my ladders down one. Into a lower priority. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm dumping polluted water on there. Do I have a mesh tile? Not yet. Yeah, see, my plug slugs went and charged everything up nice and fully. That's the next dupe I want is a supplier.
right, I'm gonna have to auto harvest these plants so we can get some thimble reed going. Not worried about refined metal just yet. We still got plenty of clean water. come out hot. I do have gold amalgam though. Okay. I was thinking that this comes out too hot, but with gold amalgam you can typically do, you can survive the heat of that till I get some steel. Food's coming down a little bit, but I have a lot of swamp shards. In fact, I'm gonna move that so I stop dumping water on it. But my little plug slug buddies are doing a nice job of keeping everything topped up. I mean, I do have a lot of battery storage now. Perfect. This got finished. start cleaning the polluted oxygen. I can also put in airflow tiles and let the hydrogen out that the plug slugs are letting through. get a supplier. Snoring, can't dig. Well, Mima, I think you are best. Eventually you'll be a rocket pilot, but right now you're going to come down here with Ellie. You are going to be storing, supplying. Oh, and you start with a skill. Eh, I don't know what I want to put them on just yet. How do you not have any dirt? I really used up all the dirt. Luckily, there's plenty more. Well, here we are. Well, here, I'll let it go forward. But it says, here we are at cycle 10. Only. Now we're on cycle 10. And uh, one of the other mods I did, I am trying out is fast save. So I don't think it makes much difference in the early game, but in the late game, we'll see how that does. So far, I think I'm off to a good start. I didn't even realize that this has thimble reed. I thought I was going to have to go Drekos or go somewhere else. So that will be nice for suits. Uh, I haven't checked to see which vents are where, but... 10 cycles in, we've got some food, we need to start making some food, so that will be next, but we've got oxygen, backup oxygen, air cleaning, battery storage, bedrooms and bathrooms. Not bad for our first 10 cycles. Thank you all for all the wonderful comments on my previous videos. Hopefully you enjoy this playthrough as well. Uh, thanks to all the people who have now submitted bases. Again, if you want to submit bases for base review videos, it's 
uh, you email it to me under the details section in the channel. And yeah, I'm not sure how often I'll get to do those. Right now, my goal is at least once a month. So let's uh, pick this up in the next episode and see if we can find the other, other teleporter and start looking at some other worlds. Hope you all just have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.